Soccer Cup 2018 in Forge of Empires. The next big event is coming soon and reminds me to the Forge Bowl event. It will start in June and with a duration of 33 days. It grants a lot of possibilities to collect energy drinks and to trade these for prices. First of all, everybody receives 50 energy drinks every day for logging in. This is a real incentive to log in every day. Then there are 33 quests immediately plus 32 daily quests in the way we already know from previous events. For each completed quest you receive another 60 energy drinks. The quests are those that we already know from many other events or historical questlines. There are no surprises. As usual, you will find all quests in the first comment below the video. These, in average, two quests per day can be solved easily in the given time. With the energy drinks you collected, you can then motivate 10 players to play a ball for you. For each move a reward is granted already. With a certain chance, this prize will be the daily special. Of course, you will want to make a goal. For each goal you get a prize that is displayed before. Looking on the list of players, you will notice that some players provide more progress than others. You will recognize soon that a player portrait with a yellow background represents a player with 30 yards advance, blue background 20 yards and brown background only 10 yards. Some players want more energy drinks than others. Resulting from this, it is interesting to look at the relation of needed energy drinks to yards. As you can see, Billy and Frank have the best value with 0.21 yards per energy drink. Those who primarily want to win the daily specials are less interested in progress on the field, but in maximizing the chance to receive a daily special. The players provide a chance between 7% and 20%. Also, this chance can be seen in a relation to the required energy drinks. The lowest line provides a percentage to get a daily special for one energy drink. The best value provides Kevin. You should pick your players accordingly for each move. The best player to get a goal in an efficient way normally is not the best player to receive the daily special. This is why I highly recommend everybody to make a decision for one of two possibilities before the event starts. Path 1. Maximize the number of goals. Path 2. Maximize the number of daily specials. The advantage of path 1 is that you will have the best opportunity to get the grand prize, the Tolos of Idols. Another incentive is the assignment to a better group of players, which is granted with extra rewards in the end. You should be aware that pushing the Tholos to the maximum level 10 will only be possible for those who use diamonds. If you do not succeed to get the necessary 9 upgrades during these 30 days, then you possibly end up with a less than mediocre building and little daily specials. To judge this better, we can take a look on the Tholos of Idols. The Tholos level 10 has a 4x4 floor size and produces 4 forge points and 15 goods every day. Four Shrines of Knowledge together would have the same size, also producing a total of four forge points, but no goods and a disadvantage regarding street connection. The Pillar of Heroes, known from the Forge Bowl event, can be compared best. It provides three forge points on a 3x3 size, which is much better. But the Tholos is still a very good event building and compared to its size, much better than a terrace farm. On level 8 or 9 it is comparable with a terrace farm and on level 7 and below it is just a mediocre building that might be replaced as soon as you find something better. 
The advantage of Path 2 is that the daily specials are really good and the related chances to win them are absolutely acceptable. This path grants quick success and is still possible if you might fail to log in one or another day. It should be clear that through this path you will only get 5 upgrades, resulting in having a Tholus being a mediocre building which will be replaced as soon as you find something better. So decide wisely by judging pros and cons for both paths. Let us take a look a bit more in detail on both paths. This is path 1. You first collect energy drinks without spending them. When there is a nice daily special, use them. You want to prioritize to get many goals, but you still want attractive daily specials. On the beta server, there was soon a shrine of knowledge available. Then you can start to get active on the lawn. But you also can wait longer. In the beginning I would not use diamonds, hoping rules might change and it is possible to succeed without diamonds. You always decide for one or three players. On the bottom of the screen I added the list of players sorted by their efficiency. The best player is on the left side and indeed this one is offered to me for my first move. Of course, I decide for him. I collect the 5 forge points and for the next 3 players the way I decide is exactly the same. The topmost player is on rank 2 of my list, so I take him. On my third move I again find the number 1 player at the bottom. This is an easy decision. On my fourth move I only have mediocre players available. Among them I pick the one shown left most in the list, displayed at the bottom. On my fifth move I again pick that best player who is positioned lowest on the lawn. In the sixth move players again are mediocre only. The topmost player is the best among them. I think you see how this works. In my seventh move I again decide for that champion who seems to be offered in every second move. The players offered in the eighth move are awful. But even among the worst players we pick the relatively best based on the list. And in the ninth move I again have mediocre players only. Now we reach the area near the goal. A direct shot on the goal would be very expensive. Our champion is offered again, of course I pick him immediately. And then I decide for the cheapest possibility to get the goal. In return I receive my first upgrade of the Thollers of Idols. This strategy of picking always the best player minimizes the number of energy drinks needed. Including the final shot on the goal, I spent 1017 energy drinks. During the event, you will receive 33 times 50, which is 1650 energy drinks for daily login, 64 times 60, which is 3840 energy drinks for most quests. Once 150 energy drinks for solving quest 25 and 1350 energy drinks on top after solving the first 33 quests. This results in a total of 6990 energy drinks. Realistically seen this is enough for 6 goals. These are 3 upgrades. Another 2 upgrades result from the quest line leading us to a total of 5 upgrades, which means Tholus level 6. You need to receive another 4 upgrades to achieve level 10. Those who use 1995 diamonds twice, receiving 1200 energy drinks each, will have enough energy drinks for another 3 golds. 
this brings another two upgrades and a high chance to be among the best 5% of all players of that world. Because usually less than 5% of all players use so many diamonds in an event. This leads us to the league table. Players will be sorted into five different groups based on their number of goals. In the end, each group receives an extra reward. In case of the silver group, an extra upgrade is part of it. Therefore, a player can expect to achieve at least level 9 of the Tholos after buying 1995 diamonds twice. For level 10, even more diamonds are needed. That is a lot and not all players will be willing to do that. For those, I recommend the second path. This is path 2. As before, you wait until you have at least 1200 energy drinks. Don't get impatient if the desired shrine of knowledge will be offered very early already. Be patient. This daily special will be offered several times again. As soon as you have enough energy drinks and InnoGames offers a good daily special example given the Shrine of Knowledge, you start. The basic concept is the same as in Path 1. Again, you look which of your three players are listed leftmost, then you pick exactly this one. But this time the list is sorted completely different. Leftmost is the player who provides the best chance to receive the daily special in relation to the requested energy drinks, because you want as many daily specials as possible. Indeed, I receive a daily special for my second move and another one for my eleventh move. This is random based, but now the chance of receiving a daily special is much bigger than before. I will provide links to pictures of both sorted lists shown below the video. This will be much easier to handle than restarting the video all the time. For the final shot on the goal, I do not pick the cheapest shot, but instead the one with the best chance to receive a daily special. This time I needed 1206 energy drinks until getting a goal. This is nearly 20% more than before. As a compensation I received two shrines of knowledge and this was what I wanted with path 2. And beside the Shrine of Knowledge, there are so many other buildings. Especially the contestant's estate can be interesting as it provides a fair amount of population plus a 3% attack bonus. Not bad. Summary. The first path is for players with ambitions who know that they will reach the best result only if they invest diamonds. This should be clear before you start. The second part is for players who are not paying most attention to this event, but want to receive as many daily specials as possible. Do not be sad because there is a level 10 of a new building and you possibly didn't get it, when there are still so many very nice daily specials. And these really help players. I am sure you will have fun with this event.